Hi everyone, this is Kali Star with Earth Matters here to give you the weekly update. I want to thank all of you for joining us for another week of adventure and fun with your veggie bundles. It just brings us so much joy to provide this service to you. And just thank you for supporting local, small, organic farms. It really makes a difference. If you're new, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. I'm going to give you guys a few tips on some of the veggies that are in our bundles, but first I want to share with you a few things. We are using these compostable bags for our mixed greens. So in the family and large boxes, we have some loose greens in them. Now I want to just say, I'm still experimenting with this, I, but these just don't last as long in the fridge, I've noticed. So my recommendation is that when you get this, maybe put it in a, in a glass container and then put a paper towel in there instead of instead of using this in your fridge but um, that's just my suggestion based on recent experience experience with it I'm just gonna see I'm gonna see how it goes we don't want to use plastic and we're just really happy to to be using the compostable bags so posted a video of myself and Jean Etheridge while we were on the phone and I, we wanted to do a Zoom call, but we had technical difficulties. And when it comes down to it, we just wanted to get the information to you. So we're on the phone and there's not much to see in the video. So if you just want to turn it on like it's a podcast and do your thing and cook and whatever, please do listen to the video because I think that you will uh, really enjoy hearing about what Gene has to say, how he runs his farm, how he treats the people that work with him, his team, and just overall what's going on, why some of his prices had to raise a little higher recently, why uh, we didn't get stone fruit in the veggie bundles this week. We got tangelos and lemons, which I love. Also, we thought we were gonna get stone fruit this week, and we did actually announce that last week, and he was quite sure of that, but nature had some different plans, and that happens. He really feels very strongly that our veggie bundles will have stone fruit by next week, and then that's gonna be ongoing for a little bit. So we did get to get stone fruit for our all fruit boxes. So you'll get a little mix of citrus, a little mix of stone fruit. That's really cool. Uh, so there's a lot of you know good information in there and I would just really love for you guys to hear more about him okay so these are mustard greens they're proper mustard greens and they're really wonderful but if you are one of those people that feel like the flavor is a bit too strong for your palate then go ahead and mix it with the kale and just kind of balance it out a little bit you know you can steam it with the kale or do a raw salad with it and Mustard greens are absolutely wonderful in pastas, on top of pizzas, uh, with garbanzo beans, with lentils, a little bit in soup. They're so good for you. And if it, the flavor is a little strong for you, just mix it with stuff. You'll love it. I love it just like this. I'm like a bunny. Okay. I wanted to share with you guys about something about broccoli that I really love. That not everybody uses the stem. And I really recommend that you do if you haven't before, because you can actually, so if you only like to steam this part of it, that's cool, but you can also take this part off and slice it really thin and make a raw salad with it and just put some lemon juice and salt, literally just lemon juice and salt and just like let that sit in there for a little bit. And it's a really, really yummy snack that way. My favorite sauce, now I usually just steam the trunks with the broccoli, I do it all together and um, my favorite sauce is this. You can use veganaise or you can use mayonnaise. Three parts mayonnaise, one part mustard, and a squeeze of lemon juice and mix that up and it's the greatest sauce for broccoli. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about artichokes and fava beans and then that's about it for this video. We're gonna get into some more of those heirloom greens again like we had last week. We had a Gretti. Everybody loved it. Everybody wants to see it again. Well, at least everyone who was texting me and sending me pictures about what they were doing with that was really fun. So uh, I know that some people were also asking for spigarello again and we're looking forward to that uh, soon. We have some fun stuff coming up next week. So artichokes how to cook them. Really, really super simple. Um, just cut off the stem, and if you want this the simplest way, right? Cut off the stem, and then put it in the pot, and simmer it, put the water about up to here, unless you have a steamer, 
use a steamer. But if you don't, then just put these flat in the pot and put the water about up to here. You don't want it too high because the water absorbs, absorbs so much water that you it just doesn't taste as good if you do it that way. However, you really have to watch out for the water totally evaporating before the artichoke is finished and then burning the bottom of your pot and your artichoke. So just watch out for that if you're gonna do it without a steamer basket. And um, just, just water about up to here, watch it. You're gonna probably add a little bit of more water. And then you can also put in the water flavors that you like. You can put garlic, lemon, olive oil, whatever kind of flavor that you want, pepper. So you know when an artichoke is ready, when you can pull a leaf out and it comes out really soft and easy. So right now it's raw, right? So it needs a little tug, but when it's ready, it just slips right out really easily. And the part of the artichoke that you're going to eat is right here. So with the leaves, that's where you're gonna eat it. Don't eat this part, because that would be totally weird. And also, make the best sauce that you just love. Just make your favorite sauce and dip this in, and you will think that artichoke is the greatest vegetable on the planet, because I think it is. <laughs> And when you get to the heart of the artichoke, you're just going to spoon out the hair. You know, there's like a few little leaves left next to the hair, and they're kind of pokey, and they're not so great, um, just because they have a little hair on them. So just scoop that part out, and then you'll have the heart of the artichoke, and it's so incredible. Sometimes I just have that for lunch. That's it, an artichoke, because it's so easy to cook. You just put it in the pot, and you let it simmer, and it's just there for half an hour maybe 45 minutes when they're small like this it doesn't take as long but it's super easy so if you haven't seen my last couple of videos about when I talked about the fava beans uh, this is for you and if you've already seen that just go ahead and skip ahead this part of the video so this is the fava bean and you just I'm just pulling off the pod and you get the bean and it seems like a bit of work, but it really is worth it with fava beans because they are one of the best vegetables. They're so tasty. And so why it's a little bit of work is that they have a skin that you, t you peel off. <laughs> and I wouldn't recommend doing it raw because that really takes some time. Just blanch the bean. So you just boil some hot water, put the beans in for a minute, turn off the heat, and then leave it in there just for a couple minutes and then pour it out pour some cold water on it you just don't want to overcook them because then they get so soft that it's hard, harder to take off the skin because it gets all mushy in there you still want it to be a little bit firm so you when you take off the skin you're going to just prick off the skin a little bit and then you can slip the skin off of the bean just like you slip skin off of beets when you boil them um, it's really easy that way it just takes a little bit of time promise you it's worth it. These are so good and I'm so glad that we have these right now. The thing I wanted to mention is that there were some veggies this week where uh, we were only able to get a certain amount. So some people in the family boxes were we were able to get cucumbers for and some people are going to get torpedo onions instead. But you can look forward to more cucumbers this season. So don't worry, but sometimes we have to order, you know, half from this farm and half from that farm to make things work and it works and it's really really awesome so that's about it for today i'm really looking forward to going to county line harvest again next week uh, it's a special trip for us to go there and a million percent worth it because we get these cool heirloom greens like spigarello and agretti and we love sharing that with you guys. So next week, it looks like we'll be making a trip there again. And uh, we'll see what they have available. Should be really fun. Thank you so much for all of your Instagram posts and sending me pictures through text and just telling me what you're up to with your food. It's so much fun for me. And I'm wishing all of you a wonderful day and lots of health and happiness. Thank you so much. Take care.